All right, so we're going to do 1014 on page 541. Wait, did they All right. Okay. 1014 says for each situation. Oh, wait. Now, the situations presented here are independent of each other. Then the instructions say, for each situation, prepare the appropriate journal entry for the redemption of the bonds. So there's A and B. So A says, McHale Corporation redeemed $140,000 base value, 9% bonds on April 30, 2017 at 101. The carrying value of the bonds at redemption date is $126,500. The bonds pay annual interest, and the interest payment due on April 30th has been made and recorded. Thank goodness. They took care of the interest, right? No, no, feel it. All right. So we are just dealing with the bond redemption part. That's all we have to deal with is the bond redemption part. So for this one, the first thing we want to know is what is the face value, right? So the face value is. 140,000, right? Okay, the next thing we want to know is the cash amount. So the cash amount is equal to the face value times the at percent, right? And so the face value is 140. And for this problem, the at percentage is 101. So 101 percent. So that comes to 141,400. Who is that? 400 again. 141,400. Okay. Um, next thing we want to know is it a loss or a gain? So the way we do that is we take the carry value, and they tell us the carry value was 126,500, right? Mr. Murders, 126,500. Minus the cash value, which was one forty one four, and that comes to thirteen five. No, that comes to one fourteen thousand nine hundred. Yes, fourteen thousand nine hundred. I don't know why I didn't write that one down. Fourteen thousand nine hundred. So 14900 and the rule says that if the cash is more than the carry value, cash is more than the carry value, it is a loss. So this is a loss. Uh, then we go down to discount or premium. So the face value is 140. The carry value is 126.5. And the rule says that if the carry value is less than the face value, it's a discount. Okay? Oh, and the amount of the discount is uh, 140 minus 126 is 13,500. And it's a discount. Okay, so those are the numbers we need to do it. So let me turn the screen off here. <laughs> and I'll move this over this way. All right, so April 30th. <clears throat> we are going to uh, get rid of the bond first. So we're going to debit bonds payable. And our screen or our sheet tells us that bonds payable is equal to the face value, right? So we're debiting bonds payable 140,000. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to debit for the loss, loss on bond redemption. So we're going to debit loss on bond redemption. And that is for 14,900, which we already figured out. We're then going to um, 
doesn't <coughs> generally it doesn't matter if you do the discount or cash first. Now, as soon as I say that, watch. Myler's gonna do some. But whenever cash is involved, I always take care of the cash first. I just I always, you know, like when you're debiting, you always debit the cash first. If we're crediting and cash is listed, I'm gonna credit the cash first. So we are crediting cash for the amount that we're gonna pay out, which is we did the cash amount, 141.4. And then we are going to credit for the discount of bonds payable, which is the So this, this discount right here is getting rid of the unamortized bond amount that we, we haven't amortized yet. So. All right, so questions about that one? Uh, how long do we pretend? We don't have to deal with the interest because the problem told us they already did the interest. Oh. So we're happy about that, right? All right, so that, that one. And let's look at the B one, and I'm going to do it in a different color. All right, so B says, Oldman Incorporated redeemed $170,000 face value, 12.5% bonds on June 30th at 98. The carry value of the bonds at the redemption date is $184,000. The bonds pay annual interest, and the interest payment due on June 30th, 2017 has been paid and recorded. So the interest are, is already taken care of, so we're good with that. So now we just need to kind of go through our numbers. So for this one, the face value is 170,000, right? The cash amount is gonna be the face value, or the, no, how did I write way up over there? I don't know. I'm gonna put a line like this, because this is the face value, right? And then the cash amount, cash amount is, <coughs> The 170 times the at percent, which was 98%. So for this one, the cash amount is 166. 166.6. That's our cash amount. And then is it a loss or a gain? We take our carry value. What did they tell us the carry was on this one? 184. 184 minus the cash amount of 166, 600. And the rule says that if the cash is less than the carry value, it is a gain. Right? And the cash is less than the carry value, so it's a gain. So our gain is 17,400. And so this is the, so here's the game. Then we need to look at is the premium or discount. So we want to take the face value of 170 minus the carry value of 184. And the rule says that if the Face value is, or face value is, or carry value is more than the face value in the premium. So the carry value is more than the face value, so it's a premium. 184. 184 minus 170. Can I ask how you got the 184? It's in the problem. Oh. They tell you the uh, carry value is 184. But really, the carry value is. Well, yeah, it's 184. They told you it is. It's the, it's the, <coughs> well, that was a game, so I'm not even going to say it. Okay, it's in the problem. They tell you what the carry value is. Okay, so this one was done on June 30th. So the entries for this is we get rid of the bonds payable first. And the bond payable amount for this one is the face value, 170. Got rid of that, right? 
The next thing we need is to take care of the premium, which was 14,000. So this is premium on bonds payable, which is 14,000. We know that. We then are going to credit cash for the amount of cash we're paying out, which is 166.6. And then we are going to credit for gain on my redemption, which is 17. 